What is up guys, the new Bonnie here, and today I'm going to be opening a brand new box of Ikoria Layer of Behemoths. This is the last one that my LGS had. Shout out to Brian Percy at Phoenix Reborn Game Store and Hobby. Uh, his store is half of a cafe during the day and it turns into a game store at night. And uh, I just want you guys to go ahead and check out the Facebook page. There's going to be links to that in the description below. Awesome place to play, tons of fun, tons of good people to see there all the time. But without further ado, let's go ahead and if I don't just fucking cut up the box already, let's tear this bad boy open and see what we can get out of it. Alright, gang, so I am pretty much flying blind. Oh, what the? Oh, God, I just, I just fucking bent the shit out of that. Oh, God, no. Whoopsies. Oh man, that sucks. Oh well. Um, that's cool. I haven't seen this before. The Ikoria box topper. All right. Uh, I've seen maybe like two or three of these boxes open total, and I'm pretty much flying blind through this whole thing because I missed the pre-release weekend. I was too busy at drill with the boys, you know, doing some cool army training shit. So everything in here is going to be sort of a surprise to me. I know a couple cards are worth a lot of money, and I know it's mostly the uh, the alternate arts. So it looks like this set goes from from token to to land. I'm guessing to rare first. Then, so we got a foil valiant rescuer just to start things off with. That ain't too bad right there. And boom, we're gonna start things with a Coggle of the Titan ape. Really? Oh man, let's go. Oh, let's get it. Oh, man. We don't care about any... Oh, there we go. We got a alternate art Majestic Auricorn. And uh, I'm not going to be going through the uh, the uncommons or the commons. Maybe I'll go through the uncommons. I'll look through them real quick because I don't know what's worth any money, really. Uh, I know those alternate arts are always worth money. So we got a Fawn, or Fawn Land Felidar as our rare. Uh, an exuberant wolf bear, another valiant rescuer back for more. Yeah, we might just browse through those real quick. But I don't know the value on much of this stuff. There's a lot of cards in this set that are going for over $20, but you really have to get that alternate art. I want you guys to tell me down in the comments. But oh boy, there we go. Kahira, the orphan guard. Nice. Tell me what you guys think of this new companion, because uh, I don't know. If I'm really a big fan of it or not, it's kind of interesting, but it's just not my playstyle. Like, I get it; it's cool to have an extra card outside of your outside of your deck, but they're honestly just breaking magic more and more. Catbird, uh, Swiftwater Cliffs, got a Mythos of Snapdax, the rare there. But honestly, oh hey, Lord Dracus sounds kind of neat looking. I don't really care for all this comic art. I don't really care for a whole lot of this new uh, mutate mechanic either, but you guys let me know down in the comics or the comments below how you feel about it. See, I got comics on the mind just because of this set. Got another foil like that. Sudden Spinnerets. Quartz Wood Crasher. That's a crazy looking boy right there, and I'm going to have to go back through and read a lot of these later. But the thing that I was most excited for <clears throat> to come out, I guess, of Ikoria maybe the same time as Ikoria was the new commander decks tons of tons of cool shit I've had a complete change of heart about that Mardu deck looks like these are the new uh, whatever the fuck those tokens are called that you put on creatures emergent ultimatum yeah those new commander decks absolutely crazy the Mardu deck I love it I still hate Jarena with a passion but Damn, there are some really, really good cards in those decks. We got uh, an alternate Dire Bat. See if that's worth anything. Done lost my train of thought. Got a Mutual Destruction and Kinnon Bonner, Bonner, fuck it, Bonner Prodigy. There we go. Holy shit! As if Simic really needed anything like this. Another Infinite Commander. 
That card's gotta be worth like a shitload. General's Enforcer, it's good. Maybe not like a shitload, you know. I'm making it sound like it's worth millions, but that's a good card, and I was really hoping to pull that. Mostly in this set, I'm just looking for, for usage anymore. I've started kind of to... Ooh, that's kind of neat looking, uh, the companion. Just a little reminder there. Got a Cub Warden. But... God, what did I say? Oh, yeah, I'm kind of going back to uh, looking through the old stuff and magic just because the artwork was ten times better in the old stuff and TBH, some of the cards were, were still pretty powerful, but it's mostly that art and it's the complexity of it. Magic has just gone too far with a lot of the things that they've done. We got Titan's Nest. Uh, like I said, I gotta read through these again later because I'm not sure. Ooh, look at that. Insatiable uh, Hemophage alternate. But yeah, in my opinion, Magic's, or Wizards is just going too far with mechanics. They're going too far with art. They're doing a bunch of stupid stuff, especially when it comes to releasing products. That's an awesome looking Kraken token though. But Ooh, classification. I doubt that's worth anything unless it's extended art. But, for real, they they release so many products with so many reprints of the same stuff all the time that it just completely destroys the value. Guys, I am so sorry. I just had to go through a major fix. I'm sure it won't come up during a post-edit because I'm going to have to rotate the damn... Uh, I'll have to rotate the recording, but my phone was trying to freaking record vertical. Reconnaissance mission. Skycat Sovereign. Is this not is this not something that's in the Azorius Guild Kit build? I'm pretty sure that is. That precon it's it's like the same thing that two a white and a blue create a one one white cat bird creature token with flying and it gets plus one plus one for all the flying creatures. Like that's a... Uh, God, I can't think of the name of that cat, but you it's the same cost it, but they call it forecast but man i am so excited to build my uh my shark boy and lava girl deck this thing that thing's gonna go nutty yeah these uh these creature counters i think is what they're called foil forest that's got to be worth a few pennies at least that's kind of pretty though crystalline giant love playing this card i absolutely love playing that in a Standard brawl anything if you let it go just a couple turns it uh, it gets pretty out of hand Honestly if your opponent doesn't remove it before it has hex proof then I Won't say you've got the game in the bag, but you just kind of suit him up with all the all the crazy shit that you can uh, Karuga the the macro sage. This is probably one of the better uh, Commander looking cards to come out of this Ikoria set Got a, I got a whole lot of uncommons there. But anyway, back to my point of Magic releasing too many uh, too many kits. Like they started releasing the gift boxes, and then they did the uh, those foil only uh, booster boxes, and that just tanked the value. Ooh, Death's Oasis, but it just tanked the value. And I mean, freaking drop shit like crazy. Uh, Voracious Great Shark is our rare, and it's just. It's just not okay. Like, they can't... They're making money no matter what because people want to buy all the cool flashy stuff. And, I mean, it's almost better for players because, like, it becomes more affordable. Magic's not exactly as pay-to-win. But, I mean, cards are still expensive and they're just... They're ruining the value and... I, I'm not okay with that. Like, I, I don't know. You guys, tell me what you think about that. Tell me what you think about... Wizards releasing so many products and pushing so much stuff out that they're just constantly uh, ticking down. Oh, I already see what we got here. Boot Nipper, but we got Riddell, the Everwise. There's another hugely popular commander right now. Huge in popularity. See, I like these little crystals. That, uh, But, yeah, the cycling crystals that tap for your three-color cards. Because there's a lot of three-color elementals a lot of elemental cats in this whole set lutri the spell chaser that's uh that's fucking worth nothing um oh man you know what that's uh right there 
That's that's what I think about that. Wizards really released this card and fucking banned it immediately. You can't do jack shit with it. So, what am I going to do with it? This Huntmaster Liger alternate is worth more than that fucking Lutri. And I probably just ripped up a, a $30 card still and everyone's going to be like, hey, You can still play it in, in this format. No, Wizards banned it. You can't have it as your companion. You can't have it as your commander. I don't want anything to do with it. That shit is stupid. Eerie Ultimatum. There we go. That's something. Uh, ooh, another Lead the Stampede. Parcel Beast. I love that. And Trumpeting Gnar. Another good one. But yeah, don't... I don't want to see Lutri in my fucking booster box if I can't play it. Right? I mean, call me crazy. Frenzied Raptor. Ooh! Luca, Copper Coat Outcast. There we go, baby. Got a lot of mythics in this so far. I love the look of this dude. Look at that, that badass trench coat. I mean, that man is gearing up for war. He is about to go tame... Godzilla himself. I'm gonna go shut that Vivian down real quick. Lava Brink Venturer. I think this is worth some change just because it's a good, uh, it's a very evasive creature. It's good stuff in here. Good stuff. I actually opened up a box of uh, Born of the Gods recently because that's my favorite set besides like uh, War of the Spark. I would have recorded it for the channel, but honestly, it was. Uh, it was a birthday present, and I just wasn't feeling it for opening it for the channel, so I'm sorry you guys didn't get to see that. Slither Wisp. Uh, Rogarin Crystal. Woo. But we pulled some decent stuff out of there. Like, some of you guys are going to be mad at me because I'm not... I'm not ooing all over some of these cards, but... Uh, TBH, I don't play standard. I don't play anything except for, like, mostly Commander. Zagoth Triome. Love this. See, cards like that... Very important to me because that is going to go in my uh, my Volrath deck. And if you guys don't like Volrath, then uh, unsubscribe right now. Hit that subscribe. You hit the subscribe button once, and you're here now. Get the get the fuck out. Just just leave right now. I love Volrath. Probably one of my favorite commanders. Got a Volpaki. That's uh, that's worth nothing because they reprinted it a billion times. Even though it's it's more uncommon to find the the regular art of this card that's how badly they've overdone it unpredictable cyclone nice Ooh, look at that F a fucking frog creature yeah so i like this set it's good for standard it's just that so many cards are so broken anymore that they're almost making it unplayable and that's how i ooh, gyruda yeah but that's why I moved away from Yu-Gi-Oh. That's why you guys don't see any Yu-Gi-Oh openings on the channel anymore. It's because Wizards, or not Wizards, I guess, but Konami, they just, they just fucked Yu-Gi-Oh so hard and just pushed out so much and tried to do new things with it when the old stuff worked just fine. Sea Dasher Octopus, I know that's worth some money right there. Flashy Foil too. Mythos of Nethroi. But yeah, they made the rules too complicated and... They, they just made the game unplayable. They kept banning... Every month, I'd have to redo a deck because they banned everything. And that's... That's what they're doing now. The fact that they had this card... This card was banned before they could even push out the product. That is just fucking stupid in my mind. That is gorgeous, though. Look at that. Savai Triome. I know... Bad Boy Gaming says Triomi. He wrong. All right, he wrong. That's not how you say it. It's Triome. Same as Biome. There's just it just taps for three. It doesn't tap for three. It's three different lands. Same as a Biome. Get that. Get that right. I'm calling you out. Rogarin Triome. Look at that. All these Triomes. Hell yeah, baby. This is a good box. Alert. Uh, Heed Bonder. Probably not worth anything, but honestly, when you stack four of those together in a standard deck that life gain gets out of hand i was up to 100 by turn four not turn four i'm exaggerating so much it was like turn six what do we got here we got a mythos of luna big old cat you guys uh you guys feeling the cat tokens feeling the uh the gavi nest warden i know that's uh that's my most popular video so far on the commander 2020 decks but like I said, oh, I just spoiled the living dog shit out of that. Lurking Deadeye. 
foil, ruinous ultimatum, destroy all non-land permits your opponent's control. Absolutely busted. And that's going in my uh, Kelsian. Kelsian is my new favorite. I'm sorry, I lied. I lied in my video. I know. Gavi's not my favorite anymore. I like the idea of pinging everything and giving that thing death touch. No one wants to play any more creatures. Song of Creation, that's a great one right there. I don't know if it's taken off, but I know in, uh, ooh, in Commander it should be. should definitely be taken off. So I can't wait to build all these Commander decks. I'm probably going to be doing that tonight. I'm already uh, staying up late so I can open this up for you guys. Uh, Tranquil Cove foil. Uh, Nethroi, Apex of Death. Oh, that's a good looking one right there. Good Mythic. We're pulling all the value out. I'd say these boxes RSP for probably like, what, 120? 110? Totally worth it so far. And that's something that's cool with Magic is that a lot of things are kind of worth more money. But then, like I said, expect all these expect all these prices to just tank. Maybe not tank, but very slowly tick down in the next few weeks because the set was just released. It's doing really well. Again, just released though. It's not gonna. It's not gonna be anything crazy. So Titanoth Rex foil Mythos of Brokos. Brokos, Zagoth Crystal, a. So yeah, this is. I'm I'm pretty happy that Wizards is leaning towards Commander players for at least a year. So I may I may bitch and complain that some of this stuff is infinite, but honestly, at the end of the day, ooh, Bonders Enclave. I'm happy about it because it's more uh, playability for me, and I'm the most important thing ever. Don't judge. But I come first. And Yorion is our last uh, our last card out of that pack. Yorion, Sky, Nomad. Can't play that in Commander, though. Cannot. We got a whole lot of nothing out of there. So let's find out what this bent-up box stopper is that I just completely fucking annihilated. If it's Space Godzilla and I just ruined it, boys, we are going to have an awful day. I'm telling you, I'm going to cry. I'll do it. I'll cry on camera. Yeah, I feel really bad about that. What do we got here? Hey, Angurus Armor Killer. Okay, that's not worth a shitload. Let me try and be a jackass and bend that back. That's that's a, like a $5 card. But that's nice. Foil, alternate. But that's going to do it for this opening. I hope you guys enjoyed it so much. And make sure you check those links on Phoenix Reborn down in the, comment, or down in the description below. Uh, helping to support them is huge because they're the only LGS I have around here. And because of them, I'm able to keep up cool stuff like this for you guys. So thank you so much for watching this, and I'll see you all in the next one.